Are you a company or a sole trader that processes personal data? Well, if so, you need to pay a data protection fee to the Information Commissioner's Office, otherwise known as the ICO. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about this fee. Hi there, Nicholas Cameron here from First Formations, the UK's leading company formation agent. If you are a company or a sole trader that processes personal data, you'll need to pay a data protection fee to the Information Commissioner's Office, the ICO. Today we're going to cover everything you and your business need to know about this fee, including how much it is, what happens if you don't pay it, and who is exempt from paying it, and much, much more. So let's get started. Firstly, who are the ICO and what is the data protection fee? Now, the ICO is an executive non-departmental public body that upholds information rights in the public interest, promoting openness by public bodies and data protection and privacy for individuals. The current information commissioner is John Edwards, who began a five-year term in the role in January 2022. The data protection fee is an annual fee that must be paid by any UK or organisation that processes data, and there are a few exemptions that we will cover shortly, to the ICO. The fee is then used to fund the work of the ICO. Paying the fee is a legal obligation that falls under the Data Protection Act of 2018, the act that brought about the General Data Protection Regulation, more commonly known as GDPR. So, how much is the data protection fee? The exact fee depends on the size of your company and its turnover. There are three different payment tiers, with tiers one and two being the most common. If your company falls into tier one, you'll need to pay £40 a year, or £35 if you pay by direct debit. You are in tier one if your company has 10 or fewer members of staff, or your company's maximum turnover is no more than £632,000 in its financial year. If your company falls under tier two, you'll pay £60 per year, or £55 if you pay by direct debit. You are in tier two if your company has more than 10 staff members, but less than 250, or your company's maximum turnover is no more than 36 million in its financial year. For tier three, you'll need to pay £2,900 per year, or £2,895 if you pay by direct debit. You are in tier three if your company meets none of the criteria in tier one or two. You may be wondering if your company needs to pay the ICO data protection fee. Now, generally speaking, your company or other business types, such as a sole trader, will need to pay the fee if you are electronically processing personal information. That's any details about a living individual that can be used on its own or with other data to identify them. Or you use CCTV for crime prevention, for business purposes, that is, not for personal reasons. To confirm whether your company needs to pay the fee, you can use the ICO's registration self-assessment tool located on the ICO website. So, what exactly does processing mean? Now, the ICO describes processing as the actions you can do to personal information. Now, this includes collecting, recording, organizing, storing, using, retrieving, altering, erasing, and disclosing. Now, Let's take a look at businesses that may be exempt from paying the ICO fee. If you do not process personal information at all, or you do, but not via a computer or other automated system, you are exempt and you will not need to pay the fee. You are also exempt if you are only processing personal information for any of the following reasons. Staff administration, advertising, marketing and public relations, accounts and records, not-for-profit purposes, personal, family or household affairs, maintaining a public register, judicial functions, according to the ICO, the members of the House of Lords 
elective representatives and prospective representatives are also exempt. Once again, you can use the registration self-assessment tool to find out if your company is exempt. Next, what happens if you don't pay the fee? If your business is not exempt, you are legally required to pay the data protection fee. Failure to pay the fee can result in a penalty ranging from £400 up to £4,000. Unlike a company's confirmation statement and annual accounts, where the deadlines are informed by a company's incorporation date, there is no set deadline attached to the data protection fee. Instead, the ICO sends out regular letters to businesses, making them aware of the data protection fee requirements. These letters include a date by which the ICO expects to receive a response, regardless of whether you need to pay the fee or not. With our ICO registration service, priced at $79.99, our team of experts can assist you in paying the data protection fee, freeing up your time so that you can concentrate on your business. Once you have purchased the service, we'll email you an online questionnaire asking some information about your new business. Complete this form and return it to us and then we'll register you with the ICO and take care of paying your fee, which is covered as part of the $79.99 service cost. It can take up to 10 days for your company to be registered with the ICO, depending on the ICO's workload. Once complete, we will send you your ICO registration number and ICO security code. So let's take a closer look then at how to buy our registration service. First of all, it will depend on what stage your business is at and whether or not you are an existing First Formations customer. If you have not yet started your business and are thinking of moving forward with a limited company, we can help you register your company with Companies House, the UK's registrar of companies, and take care of paying the data protection fee at the same time. To get your company formation started, follow these four simple steps. Number one, choose your company name via our company name search tool. Secondly, select your company formation package. Prices start from only $12.99. Next, on the additional services page, add the ICO registration service to your basket, priced at $79.99. And finally, work through and complete the simple online company formation process. Once your company is formed, your ICO registration questionnaire will be sent to you in your order fulfillment email. If you are already a First Formations customer, you can purchase the ICO registration service from your online company manager. Log in to your First Formations account, select My Companies, and click View next to the company name. Click on the Shop tab and then select Add next to ICO registration service. Then proceed to the payment page to complete the order. Your online ICO registration questionnaire will be emailed to you immediately. If you're not an existing First Formations customer, don't worry, you can still buy our ICO registration service. Simply give us a call on 020 3897 2233 and we'll take care of your order over the phone. Once processed, we'll email your questionnaire. As well as being a legal requirement, Paying the data protection fee is also good for your company's reputation as it demonstrates to your customers and other business contacts that you take your data seriously. When you pay the fee, you are assigned an ICO registration number that you can publish on your website to highlight that you are registered and in turn assure potential customers that you can be trusted. Plus, your business's name will be added to the ICO public register of fee payers. That's not to be confused with the company's house register. That's where the ICO publishes the names of all businesses that have paid the data protection fee. On top of maintaining the free to use public register, the ICO also lists businesses that have been issued a penalty notice. This is obviously not a list that any business would wish to appear on. If you don't need to pay the fee, it is good practice to notify the ICO to let them know that you are exempt, even if you have not received a letter from them. And you can do this on their website by completing a short exemptions form. And there you have it. I hope this video has answered all of your questions about the Information Commissioner's Office and the data protection fee, and importantly, 
whether or not your business needs to pay. If you still have any queries, please do leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. For more videos just like this one, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Cheerio.